Hi everyone. Now we run a demo installation on the auto router. You can find a quick guide in the envelope. We can scan the QR code or access link to check the online menu. A SIM card inject tool is included on the guidance flyer. Firstly, we install the antennas from the left side. Twist the antenna connector in the clockwise direction to fasten the antenna. On the top side, these antennas are 4G, Wi-Fi, and 4G. Adjust the flat sides of the antennas like the demo shows. Another Wi-Fi antenna installs on the bottom side nearby the PoE socket. There are four pieces of bolts on the front side. We use the tool to loose bolts in an anti-clockwise direction. Then, we can open the enclosure to insert the SIM card. Take off the SIM card inject tool from the guidance flyer. Push the pinhole gently until the SIM card holder pops out. These are two slots on the SIM card holder. We can only use the nano SIM card. The front SIM slot is to settle the primary SIM card. Carefully reposition the SIM card holder in the slot and push it back gently. Now, we take a brief overview of the router. This is the mobile modem. Under the cooling fin, there are the Wi-Fi boosters and router CPU. This is the DC power socket, the physical reset button. This port is for PoE and LAN connection. Another interface is the WAN port. These are the indicators. Now we set up PoE connections. Both power and data will travel down the same Ethernet cable. We take apart the cable GLAN in this way. Take the LAN cable through the cap at first, then clamp with the rubber stopper and through the barrel screw. Plug the RJ45 connector into the PoE socket. Screw the barrel screw on the base of PoE socket. Insert rubber stopper into barrel screw and the crew down the cap tightly. The power plug on the PoE adapter is removable. Tap and hold the push button to release the power plug. There are two RJ45 ports on the PoE adapter. Connect the PoE port to the 4G router via LAN cable. Then connect the PoE adapter to the electrical outlet. The system indicator now is turned on. It will take about two minutes to boot up completely. Finally, we can search and connect to the Wi-Fi hotspot on a phone or computer. By the way, 
we can connect the router or extender to the 4G router. Connect the WAN port on the extender to the LAN port on the PoE adapter.